Hello there guys, what is going on Son of Chelsea? Back here again for another edition of Let's Talk Chelsea. Hope you're doing well, hope you're keeping safe and are getting excited about Chelsea's potential transfer business this summer because as JL would say, business is about to pick up. Uh, Chelsea's transfer business, I know there's been a lot of frustration over the sort of perceived lack of activity or seeing other clubs do deals and, and the concern of targets going elsewhere. But today, some of the big news dropping today, particularly on one player who Chelsea have targeted for so long, um, that saga could be about to, to come to an end and it could be a massive defensive addition for Thomas Tuchel. And that, of course, is Kaladu Koulibaly from Napoli. Uh, Chelsea thought to be close to agreeing a deal for the Senegal defender. And what could that mean for Chelsea's defence and particularly Nathan Ake still being linked, other players being linked as well. Going to get into all of that today. Raheem Sterling is flying over to LA to meet his new Chelsea. Chelsea teammates. It's all very exciting. It's all happening very quickly. Uh, make sure, guys, hit that like button because it helps new people find the channel. Hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads on the channel. Uh, one suspects now that there's going to be so much info and we've got the games returning as well to speak about regarding Chelsea. Uh, but let's get into it. David Ornstein early this afternoon broke the story. Uh, we, we sort of heard reports from Italy about Chelsea's meetings with Koulibaly's agent and interest. We've spoken about this on the channel before. Um, Chelsea close to agreement for Napoli's Koulibaly. David Ornstein in the Athletic reporting. Discussions are taking place over a possible deal that could see the 31-year-old move to Stamford Bridge on a long term contract for a proposed 40 million euro fee negotiations are ongoing but an agreement between the clubs and the senegal captain is thought to be close koulibaly is heading into his final year of his current contract he made 27 league appearances last season for a napoli side that finished third in syria my colleague and good friend adam newson reporting from the la that koulibaly and nathan ake poised to seal chelsea transfers with two players set to leave uh, also confirming the interest in koulibaly and took all his intent to sign him and also mentioning how far back this goes, uh, mentioning that Maurizio Sarri, when he became Chelsea head coach in the summer of 2018, wanted Koulibaly. Uh, and then we've got Matt Law from The Telegraph here. Chelsea moved to make Koulibaly one of three potential defensive signings. Uh, he also mentions, of course, Nathan Ake and uh, Presnel Kimbembe uh, from PSG, who, who has been linked to Chelsea in recent weeks and speaks about how now Bayern Munich are favourites to sign Matthias De Litt, which is likely to accelerate Chelsea's interest in Koulibaly. And then we also had... Uh, from Koulibaly himself apparently on the radio uh, saying that I'll confirm that later but it's on the right track so a lot happened a lot came out and, and Adam as well was tweeting last night because of course he's been there reporting on the situation with Chelsea pre-season training and he posted this photo I think during the the early hours of, of the UK morning um, out in LA that uh, citing that Mendy and Tuchel were having, converse, having this long conversation during Chelsea training and one can only suspect that Koulibaly was kind of a point of the discussion because, of course, Koulibaly and Mendy teammates for Senegal. They won AFCON together back in February. Um, it's interesting because Mendy, when he signed for Chelsea, kind of had this French-speaking triangle in defence, if you remember. Kurt Zuma and Thiago Silva, who signed that same summer. Uh, Frank Lampard, kind of that was the, the back two. And Mendy was in goal to kind of integrate him. And I think that helped. And it looked like you could have a similar thing again where Koulibaly, Thiago Silva. Um, it is exciting. I think that Koulibaly it's just it's it's weird because you know I think a lot of us know how long Chelsea have been linked to Koulibaly and given how difficult negotiations with Napoli usually are I remember that summer when we were trying to get Maurizio Sarri as our head coach and how long that thing dragged on for as, as well as Jorginho um, the fact that this could be wrapped up pretty swiftly I think would be quite unique given how difficult as I say it is, it is to negotiate with Napoli but the contract situation a bit like how Chelsea jumped in on that opportunity for Raheem Sterling it feels like kind of a similar situation uh, with Koulibaly and apparently Napoli feel a lot more com comfortable selling to Chelsea than they are selling to an in-league rival like, of course, Juventus, who have also been linked to Koulibaly. And, of course, targets elsewhere, De Litt, Bayern Munich, going in for Koulibaly. I think expected Chelsea wrote about this and, and tweeted about this recently in terms of maybe some of the doubts that we could get into over Koulibaly, particularly regarding his age and the amount Chelsea are going to pay for him um, at his age and the longevity. But he tweeted, uh, no idea why people are opposed to Koulibaly signing. Outstanding, outstanding transfer. He's one of the world's best centre-backs and arguably an upgrade on Rudiger. His game will age excellently as well. He's a lot like Virgil van Dijk in a sense that his athletic prowess masks just how good he is in terms of reading and understanding the game. The likes of Colwell and Chalaba cannot ask for better mentors than 
Silva and Koulibaly, they should be buzzing. Um, I guess there's there's going to be interest now because Ake and Koulibaly coming in and potentially one defender on top of that. What does that mean for Levi Cole? Well, I think that's an interesting question to pose. But let's be positive and optimistic for now because absolutely, if Colwell, if we've got Chalabar, obviously great mentors in terms of leaders as well. I mean, to have Thiago and Koulibaly in a defence despite their age, but both of them reading the game very well, um, that could be a very dominant centre-back partnership or a trio with one of the younger defenders. I think that would be a great scenario to have um, throughout the course of the season to kind of learn and particularly how long has Thiago got left and Koulibaly making that move to the Premier League. Now, not everyone's going to be Thiago Silva because um, Thiago is kind of not only a freak of nature, but he is one of the game's greatest defenders. But Koulibaly has been one of Europe's dominant defenders uh, for quite a while now. And Chelsea, you know, you track back to the summer of 2016 when Antonio Conte became Chelsea head coach and there was links back then. Um, I've said in recent weeks when we've been discussing many centre-back options that I liked Koulibaly because not only his history, his track record and his, his experience and that sort of mentality... Let's just get the Rudiger thing out of the way first because I know Liam Toomey from the Athletic tweeted about this over paying a 31-year-old this much and considering only a few months after Rudiger leaving. You know, Bowley would have, I'm sure, liked to have kept Rudiger, but he did not have that decision. That was taken out of his hands before he bought the club, um, effectively. And that's that was a mistake of, of the previous regime. He has to deal with what he has and Tuchel has to deal with what he has, not having Rudiger and having to replace sort of that massive character in the dressing room and trying to move the club forward. I think if there's a nice balance in there in that defensive experience and, and youth and, you know, there is a forward plan there where you can develop some, some of the younger defenders like Chalaba, like Levi Colwell to kind of deputize at first i think get enough minutes i think that's getting that balance right is so important where they feel like there is a there is a pathway but as well you've got the likes of cooler barley and silver who can play those big games and have that that leadership and that mentality to really drive the team forward and you know with a character like edward mendy as well how positive he's been you think about a potential back five where you've got ben churwell on the left you've got reese james i mean the potential additions in the future in central midfield in a year or two's time if, if cooler barley still playing at a high level that looks like a very incredible spine. I mean, it really does um, in terms of that that now and that experience. And, and as we've seen with Thiago Silva, despite his age, despite maybe some athletic limitations he has, we've seen it with JT for years. If you've got the mind, if you've got the defensive mind to read the game, it puts you ahead of a lot of players. Um, and that is something that we hope we can see of Kuda Bali because watching Silva in recent years has been an absolute privilege. I mean, it really has. And uh, made fools of myself and a lot of us who doubted that signing. And and I think that Koulibaly, in in a sense of just that mentality and those intangibles that we speak about so regularly, um, rather than just looking at, I want to buy a 22-year-old because he's going to be here for eight years. You know, if, if Koulibaly can impart his wisdom on some of the younger players, can really be an influential figure, can very much uh, help out with Silver if he's maybe lagging a little bit, but he's still playing at a high level and really improved that defence and and clearly is what once again with all these targets we speak about Tuchel wants these players um, even if Delit maybe has fallen through you've got to move on Chelsea have got to act swiftly this summer they knew that they had to be aggressive from from the off because we were behind because of the sanctions we had to move quickly to rebuild the squad there's players going in and out and uh, and Koulibaly I think given the fee given what you're going to pay for him given what he could potentially add to Chelsea um, when you've lost quite a few senior defenders and it looks like we're going to lose Cesar Azpilicueta as well you have to replace those characters um, and I think that hopefully Koulibaly if this still gets over the line now if it goes from two to three then I, I think maybe there is a more of a, a concern particularly if we sign another centre back rather than a wing back um, I think there is going to be concern from some of these younger defenders because you know, in terms of what formation we're playing, are we still sticking with a back three? If, if back three is going to be our exclusive formation, then maybe there is more hope. But I think if we do start to move to a back four, you could see maybe Silver and Koulibaly, Silver and Chalabar, the combinations there. Um, that That's something to, to worry about in the long term. As I say, I think Colwell's development and Chalabar's development, I think, are, are very important because these are two players who in the long term can save Chelsea a lot of money. Um, and I guess the one thing you would say about Koulibaly's age is if he has two to three years, if he signs a three-year contract, which I think is a, is a decent length contract, you know, it's not ridiculous. Um, 
it's not like five years and then you're getting to three years potentially and he's lagging and then you still have you you sign a very impossible position to sell him off um i think that's probably the best case scenario for chelsea in this deal and um, because then you hope by year two and three the likes of Colwell, the likes of Chalaber, and maybe some others are starting to really step up and prove themselves that they can take on that mantle and be the future of Chelsea's defence. Let me know your opinions on this. Uh, do you think this is a great deal? Do you do you have doubts about this? Do you think there are better, better targets out there um, with De Ligt, with uh, Jules Kunde, with other names like Kimpembe who are still being linked? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And listen, I think it's all, it's all happening very quickly now. I think that Defence, we needed to move on defence. And, and I said this yesterday in, in yesterday's news video, if you haven't seen it already, that I think it's so important that Chelsea get these defenders in, particularly ones outside the Premier League. And I know Koulibaly is a senior player um, and you hope he settles quickly as that type of character and some of the players he already knows, like Jorginho and, and Edouard Mendy. But I think it is important that they settle, they get integrated, they start to, to blend with the team because pre-season is so important. Having a decent pre-season, I think, is just so huge it really sets you up to have a good season particularly when you're buying quite a few players that you need to integrate into the team um, but those are my thoughts thank you guys for watching follow me on twitter at son of chelsea and i'll see you again very soon all the best